All right, so going through the resource document for preparing for the Kiskit advocate or the Kiskit uh, exam. Uh, here is the document itself. Okay, so going through it real quick. Oh, let me start my timer so that way I have an idea of where I am. Okay, 15 minutes started. Okay, so um, this is the main document uh, with all the resources to prepare for the Kiskit certification exam. Again, the exam itself is $200. Uh, schedule it whenever you want. Um, it's proctored and online. Um, I did it over the summer, so I'd say three months is uh, a good enough amount of time to prepare for it if you're able to put your head down and study. And I'd say even less if you um, follow this study guide because you don't have to go through a bunch of unnecessary um, like resources. So just starting from the top, it's kind of in order. Um, so this is the exam itself. Here's the certification announcement. This was posted, I wanna say March. Yeah, March, 2021. So uh, the title is IBM offers Quantum Industries uh, first developer certification. So um, this is relatively new. This is seven, no, yeah, seven months at this point. Uh, first ever developer certification to pro for programming quantum computer. Let's see here, the, the, the language itself is Qiskit, but uh, it's pretty much Python. Um, and then Qiskit is Python connecting to quantum computers. Um, Mark, would you be able to check if the um, recording's still going? And then just like chill there to make sure it is. Um, let's see here, Qiskit allows anyone to program. Yeah, Qiskit allows anyone to program, we're good. Uh, program uh, real quantum computing hardware requiring only Python and a basic knowledge of linear algebra as a re prerequisite. Thousands of users have developed applications. So what um, IBM is doing is um, to get a lay of the land of the different companies. Um, the big players in the game are IBM, Google, and Amazon. Uh, and they all have different approaches. Um, from what I can tell, IBM is creating a pipeline uh, to train people with this certification and then they can um, get people through their pipeline and, and get competent people into their um, teams. So they're kind of building a workforce. Uh, from what I can tell, Google is hiring very skilled and, um, and experienced people with years of experience that have PhDs. So Google's going the, um, um, the Google's going deep while IBM's going wide. Um, so Google's hiring very, uh, a very small experienced team. And then Amazon, from what I can tell, uh, they're kind of throwing money at the problem, um, which is good for us because we get the jobs. Um, and I guess good for them because they get more progress. So 60 question certification exam uh, offered online on this platform. It's called Pearson View. It's a good one if you guys haven't used it. Uh, they also, I also got my uh, Python and C certification. So they're um, pretty well established uh, Pearson View. Um, those who pass the exam will have demonstrated experience using Qiskit to create and execute quantum computing programs on IBM quantum computers and simulators and the ability to perform these tasks with little to no assistance from product documentation, support, or peers. There we go. Visible, nice. Okay, exams available globally and is in English. Um, different versions. And then here's some nitty gritty stuff that we'll get into with time. You know, um, initializing a quantum state, which is like, you know, setting it up uh, a certain way you want it. Um, one of the main goals of quantum computing is to basically set up your problem so that way you can take advantage of the phenomena called uh, uh, decoherence. Um, Long story short, uh, we deal with probabilities and we want those probabilities to work in our favor. Um, let's see here, so a sample exam, certifi certification. Uh, there are a lot of different programs. I'm actually trying to get a partnership with um, Qubit by Qubit for us. Um, have a meeting with them um, at some point. I have to schedule, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so back to the doc. So that's the cert announcement. So the second link is the advice doc posted by IBM. Um, and then just running through the, the titles themselves. Um, so we have the advice doc posted by IBM. We have a 20 slide sample question um, deck um, posted by James Weaver. Um, he's the admin of the Kiskit Slack uh, and the Slack channel is right here. I uh, really recommend it if you have questions or just for a good community because they're, they're a great community. Um, $30, 60 question sample exam. The exam itself is $200. I really, really recommend taking this uh, sample, sample test for 30 bucks. Um, you can really get a, a wider breadth of like an idea of what might appear on the exam itself. And so you get to kind of, you get your results at the end as well. 
uh, in this format um, right here. I don't know how you can see it though. And it shows you, like at the bottom, the, the percentages um, of the areas where you struggled. It doesn't necessarily tell you what questions you got right or wrong, it's just the areas. So this was my first attempt. Um, I, I didn't pass my first attempt. I got a 72% um, right here. I got a 72 and then, you know, studied more and I passed. Um, but at the end, they tell you what areas you struggled with. Um, so the areas are quantum circuits. Um, you know, I don't want to say it's vague, but like you, you kind of look at the sample exams and you see what um, umbrella they fall under. So quantum circuits, uh, executing experiments, um, basic air, so it's like a, uh, a module of Python, so it's like a, a, a tool you can use. Uh, CASM, which is a quantum assembly. Um, you don't need to know quantum assembly per se, you need to know um, commands using it, like uh, how to output in, quant in CASM and how to bring inputs in from CASM. Those are probably the two main things. Uh, section five, quantum information. So um, you have this output, uh, what information can you glean from it? So you use, so it's pretty much commands. Pr pretty much all of this is uh, knowing what commands to use. So you just familiar yourself with this thing called the, the API and that's like um, what, the, what you're capable of using, uh, capable of doing rather with the API. So you can become really familiar with the, the API. And that's like universal across all coding languages. It's to get, become really familiar with their APIs. Um, so quantum information, experiments, results. Um, so uh, it's given like, a, like we, we talked a minute uh, off camera about um, state vectors. So um, that would be a possible result. Uh, Qiskit tools, um, that was only one out of one question, so it's not too major. Uh, displaying and using system information. Visualizations is a big one. You can tell I got a 55% on that. Um, there are different ways to visualize uh, the information you have, and they're all really great. Um, uh, some of them are called um, city plots, where it's like, you know, they look like skyscrapers and they tell you certain things. And, um, you know, state vectors is, part, is one of the visualizations um, and, and things like that we'll go over. Uh, an air provider. Um, the providers are the physical hardware that you're running your simulations on. So IBM's um, providers are their um, com quantum computers. Let's see here. Okay, uh, Kiskit, te okay, Kiskit textbooks chapters one and two, um, that's in the advice doc that they advise you to read. Um, I w this one right here is I go through the 20 slide uh, sample and I go through like why the wrong answers are wrong. So that uh, I didn't want to know I didn't want to know just why, what was correct. I wanted to know like, you know, what, what was wrong and why it was wrong. So that's there. Uh, this operation glossary is really important. Actually, if you're um, first starting off, I recommend reading this first. It's uh, a very light read, but it pretty much tells you um, this is what this quantum, this is what Qiskit is capable of doing. Um, and if you're an ECE student, electrical and computer engineering, um, this is pretty much just uh, spicy electrical engineering. These, these gates right here, they're just electrical engineering gates um, rebranded. So this is a NOT gate, um, we know that. You know, C NOT is just um, uh, a NOT gate dependent on a different one. So depending on, you know, if this one's one, uh, it'll, it'll work. If this one's zero, it won't work. So it's just dependent on a different one. Um, so total of four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-five, twenty-five different gates. But if you look closely, they're grouped in different sen in, in different ways. So um, try to find patterns. Uh, I'll bring my old notes and upload them, and I'll add them to um, our like resource hub uh, to see like the different ways they're able to be grouped. Grouped. Um, these are all rotations on a block sphere, which we'll get to. A block sphere is a way to, to visualize where a qubit is in 3D space. So these are all rotations. Hadamard gate puts them in superposition. Um, you know, these are different modifiers. And phases move it um, around the block sphere. So just a lot of it, you'll notice, is um, um, moving things around the block sphere. Going down the list, uh, the Slack channel again, uh, the additional references. These additional references, especially this one minute Kiskit uh, YouTube channel is what pushed me over the edge from failing to passing. This one minute Kiskit channel, I really recommend it because 
I'm almost positive that these people worked in conjunction with the test designers and they, they made videos about the questions people struggled with most. The videos themselves are two minutes long, um, so it's, it's great bite-sized information and they really get to the, the, the important parts very quickly. Um, so just, um, so yeah, this is the operation. How can I convert a quantum circuit to and from a uh, chasm, which is a quantum assembly? And just uh, going through the video real quick, the introduction, they show you the code and then they, that, that's a way to visualize right there. That is a visualization rather. And then this is um, qc.chasm. Um, so that operation, or that method rather, technically, um, uh, moves your code from Kiskit language to chasm language. And then that, that's the chasm right there. If you've taken 266 and you've dealt with um, assembly, uh, congrats, congrats on passing the class, first off. And second off, um, you'll see some familiarity uh, with this here. Uh, so just going through the video a little bit more. Oh, they stopped talking. There we go. And then um, a big thing on the exam is syntax. Um, you know, it's not necessarily what we need to focus on, but that's just something they test on the exam and you kind of have to accept it. I definitely focus, um, so if starting off, I look at this operations glossary uh, that's here and then uh, know that the exam focuses on syntax. So go through the 20 second, the 20 slide uh, guide and see how they, um, they pose their questions. Actually, we have three minutes, so we can go through that real quick, uh, the guide. Um, actually, these other uh, references are really useful too. So here's the one minute kiss That is my top reference, my top um, reference for uh, YouTube um, guides. Um, here's the general kiss YouTube. It's supplemental, not the best, you know, not necessary for passing the exam rather. There's another one I found, um, Ultimate Guide to Quantum Computing Certification with Qiskit. So I want, you know, this isn't about like, oh, this is the best guide. No, I want to give you guys as many resources as possible. So when I find good ones, I'll add them on here. This was actually added about 15 minutes ago. And they have their own, um, you know, introduction. Are you preparing to take quantum computing certification? Learning about quantum computing and topics of quantum uh, circuits, blah, blah. So, you know, for all I know, this could be better than my guide. So I want to put this on for, on for, you know, everyone here. So that way they have access to it. Um, let's see what they have. Table of contents. Looks pretty in depth. I like it. I like it. You know, we might even use this ourselves. Personal experience, blah, blah, details. So yeah, that looks like a solid guide, and they have uh, visualization as well. Um, this uh, document will be um, posted in the description of the YouTube video we're recording right now, and then when this goes up, I'll post it. I'll let the Discord know, and um, this this link will be in the the description, and it'll be in the description uh, of the all the videos going forward, uh, as well as all the important uh, information you might need as well, like as far as like links go. So always look in the description if you're looking for something and then feel free to, uh, to reach out to Discord as well. Um, okay, going down, I think Kiskitter's notes. And then bar two, a friend of mine, he made a guide on kind of uh, visualizations. Oh, so you can look at that. All right, so we have about two minutes left, so we're gonna take a, uh, a brief glance at the adv uh, advice doc posted uh, by IBM. Okay, let's see here. So just uh, gl glancing at it real quick, not going into, into too, too much depth, they have um, the areas of competency, which are actually like in the exam page themselves, it's like copy and pasted, um, following skills, and also um, on your resume, after you pass the exam, you can put these areas of competency because like, you know, after passing it shows you you have this. So you can uh, advertise this on your cover letter, letter to your uh, applications and possible employers and be like, hey, you know, after I finish, after, like, you know, personally, after I finish the exam, it's like, how do I put into words what I just kind of learned or whatever? So you could put this on your resume and the um, quantum computing employers will know that you're capable of, of doing these things. Let's see here. Here's the recommended path for preparing to the exam. You know, study the textbook, which is on the, uh, the hub. Um, some tutorials they advise. Uh, some um, like more in-depth information. And then they have guides. So this looks like a pretty good um, jumping off point. Um, quantum registers. And then here are the, the visualizations and the information that you need to learn. Open chasm again the back ends, and then visualizations. The other one was information. So these are the different types of uh, 
the visualization. So there's histogram, uh, multi-vector, a block vector. Uh, the multi-vector and, and regular vector have a very small difference. And I'm trying to remember what it is. I think it's number of inputs or number of outputs. I think it's the number of outputs. Um, the Q-sphere and the Q-sphere you'll learn while you read the textbook. Um, it is a normalized uh, version of the block sphere. So it's like um, more universal. Uh, plotting a density matrix, which is another visualization. And then plotting a gate map with error rates. So we just had a quick glance over that. Um, and then next time we'll go more in depth on the resources, but I just wanted to know that this is, this doc is available to you guys, uh, so you can go back and, and kind of uh, have a chance to learn at your leisure.